Good morning LEGO fans, it's Studlord here. In this video we're going to check out all the sets LEGO is releasing in March of 2024, including Disney, Star Wars, Harry Potter and more, so let's dive in. Now first up we have Creator 3-in-1 with set number 31154, the Red Fox, Squirrel and Owl. The price is to be confirmed on this one but should be around £45 or $50. The fox is really impressive looking and reminds me of David and Gus's build off of Australia's 2021 LEGO Masters. The squirrel and owl also look great, so it's tempting to pick up three copies of this set so you can make each of these builds. They're all pretty stunning. Also from the Creator 3 and 1, we're going to be getting sea animals. Now this is a bit of an interesting one. You've got the choice to have this built into six different sea creatures all at once. So you've got the turtle there along with a crab, a seahorse, a couple of fish and a jellyfish. Or you can change it into an octopus alongside a squid next to this volcanic rock. Or you can then also have a couple of these colourful fish, this looks a bit like a Japanese fighting fish to me, swimming around this sort of rocky reef at the bottom. So another nice one there for Creator 3-in-1, this one being priced in at £25 or $30 respectively, and it's set number 31158. Now, in addition to that, we should also be getting the Creator Poly Bag, which is a cute little one of the Easter Bunny, along with the Easter eggs there. That should also be coming out in March. Obviously, just getting ready for the Easter time. Be a nice little one to pick up there. Does look quite cute. That said, it's time to move to the Disney theme, and here we have several releases happening in March, starting with a brick-built stitch to complement February's Brickhead. This is set 43429 and will be priced at £59.99 or $64.99. Looks like a fantastically detailed and colourful build, captures the fun of the character really well, so I suspect this is going to be hugely popular. Next is an Encanto set, 43239. This is Mirabelle's photo frame and jewellery box. It's a nice one for young fans as it comes with a mini doll, wearable bracelet and clips to put photos in. It's going to be 25 British pounds or 30 US dollars. And also for Disney Encanto is set 43237, Isabella's flower pot, which is priced at £40 and $40. Now, this is quite a cool one as it opens up to reveal a room inside for some fun play, whilst also being a pretty little display piece. Then I have to mention set 43242, which is Snow White's Cottage. Now, this has been spoken about by all the reliable leakers as coming in March, but... We are yet to see official images, so these are from the original LEGO Ideas submission. Now this set will be priced at £200 or $220 and is one of the most highly anticipated sets I can remember. If it is March that it's released, I will be down the LEGO store buying it the second the doors open. Now for the Animal Crossing theme, which is going to bridge the gap between 4 Plus and 8 Plus sets and is very similar to Fabuland. This comes from the Nintendo Switch game and is going to feature set 77046, Julian's Birthday Party, which will be £13 or $15, set 77047, Bunny's Outdoor Activities, which does sound like it should be in Playboy, that'll be £18 or $20, also 77048, Cappen's Island Boat Tour at £25 or $30, and 77049, Isabella's House Visit, £35 or $40. Lastly, there is also set 77050, Nook's Cranny and Rosie's House. This will be £65 or $75. All that said, moving swiftly on, we have the Wonder Wizard Harry Potter. Bit of a change in theme styles for 2024, starting with set 76424, which is the Flying Ford Angular. This has a low price point of £12.99 or $14.99 and will be a great one to have, representing several memorable scenes from the second book and movie. We'll also be getting set 76425, which is Hedwig at 4 Privet Drive. This will be a great way to get a cheap Hedwig, which, for the low price of £18 or $20, actually looks pretty good. Obviously a Junorized version, but I'd still be happy to display it. You can tell immediately it's supposed to be Hedwig, and they've captured something here that I really like, especially with those big eyes. They look great. For a building, we'll get set 76426, Hogwarts Castle Boats House, for £32 or $38. And this is a 350-piece set with five minifigures and two animals, namely Harry Potter, Neville Longbottom, Dean Thomas, Hermione Granger and Professor McGonagall, along with Hedwig and Trevor the Toad. 
You also get two buildable boats and this seems like a great value set. We're then getting another Hagrid's hut in set 76428 for £64.99 and $74.99. This one has five minifigures, Harry, Hermione, Ron, Draco Malfoy and Hagrid, plus Norbert and Fang animal figures. Awesome to get a little dragon mold. There's also two collectible portraits in this set out of a total 14 which you can collect throughout the wave. Then we're also getting set 76430 which is Hogwarts Castle Owlery, priced at £40 and $45, and in this we're going to get three minifigs, Cho Chang, Argus Filch, and, you guessed it, yet another Harry Potter. More interestingly, there are five different owl figures in this set, which will be nice to get. Then set 76432, The Forbidden Forest with Magical Creatures, priced at $24.99 in the UK and $29.99 in the States. Now, the best looking thing about this is the glow-in-the-dark elements and to get Buckbeak, which has poseable head and wings, plus you also get a Thestral, which is cool, and a bat and a Cornish pixie, along with another Ron and Hermione. As an add-on to the Forbidden Forest, you should also be able to pick up this poly bag, which is of Draco Malfoy. This one is number 30677, obviously coming quite cheap but it's probably going to be worth picking up as a little add-on to that Forbidden Forest scene. It does actually clip onto that, as you can see from this little clip down here. And for Harry Potter prickheads fans... <laughs> Harry Potter prickheads fans. <laughs> no, for Harry Potter brickheads fans, there is this, the scene by the lake from The Prisoner of Azkaban. This is going to be a really nice lineup. It's got Sirius Black in it. Hermione Granger, Harry Potter, his stag Patronus, and of course, a pretty wicked looking Dementor. These look really awesome. Nice little bit of box artwork on there as well. I do like these. This is set number 40677, priced in at £45.50. I will definitely be picking this up. It looks absolutely awesome, but then I do love my brickheads. Then we have set 76429. This is Harry's talking sorting hat. So it will be making sounds, no audio on this yet, unfortunately, but this is a pretty cool looking little set. It's going to come in at £89 or $99. And although it's marked down as an 18 plus set, I think this is going to be pretty cool for everybody. It's just going to be an awesome one to have added to the collection. All in all, it's a really strong start for Harry Potter in 2024. Now though, we need to swing over to Marvel Spider-Man, and we're getting two sets in March, 10793, which is Spidey vs. the Green Goblin. This one is going to be priced at $17.99 in the UK and $19.99 in the US, and also set 10794, which will be the Team Spidey Web Spinner headquarters coming in at £50 or $55. Then, for Ninjago fans, we'll be getting set 71815, which is Kai's Source Dragon Battle, priced in at $31.99 in the UK, $37.99 in the States. It has some good stuff going for it, as the red dragon is quite poseable, with a movable mouth, head, tail, legs and wings, and even a fire element in its mouth. This also comes with four minifigures, Climber Kai, Wildfire, Wolf Mask Guard, and Wolf Mask Warrior. Also for Ninjago, coming on March 1st, we have the Dragon Stone Shrine. This is set number 71819, and this is priced at £105 and $120. US Looks like a really cool, interesting set. It's actually going to come with a nice range of minifigures in here. Actually surprising how many we're getting in this one, and I just think it looks fantastic. Particularly beautiful with the cherry blossom on there. The six minifigures in question are Master Lloyd, Master Wu, Nia Kai, Euphrasia and Lord Rass. So that'll be a great one to add to the collection. And if you thought that was good, you've also got the Wolf Mask Shadow Dojo. This one, again, £105 or $120 and it also looks really impressive. This one, eight minifigures that you're actually getting and the build looks absolutely awesome. I think we're getting a real treat on the Ninjago front come March. Both of those sets just look brilliant to me. But it doesn't end there. You also get the Young Dragon Ryu. This is set 71810. This one being £13 or $16 over in the States. We also have Lloyd's Elemental Power Mech. This one being £18 or $20. Set number 71817. So yet again some more mechs. It is starting to feel a little bit like Pokemon when it comes to Ninjago in the mechs. You've got to catch them all, or in this case, buy them all. Slightly more impressive, though, on the mech front is Kai's new Ninja Climber, and this one does actually look pretty damn decent. 
This one is going to be coming in at £60 or 70 US dollars, set 71812. Then we're also getting Aaron's Ninja Off-Road Buggy Car, this one being £45 or $50, which is 17 pence or 19 cents per piece, which I've got to say I do think is pretty high. This is set number 71811. We've only got 267 pieces in this. However, of course, it is a buggy. Anything with wheels always has that slightly higher price tag. And admittedly, it does look pretty good and it's going to offer a fun play factor as well. There's also a Ninjago GWP, which at time of filming doesn't have details on dates yet or the minimum spend you need to have in order to get it, but these should be revealed by LEGO shortly, so check the description and comments below. This is set 40703 and it's the Micro Ninjago City. It's going to be one of four to collect throughout 2024 and I expect these to be very popular. Now, also in March, we're going to be getting the Carousel Ride, and this one does look to me like it should have been sort of a New Year set. It's uh, number 40714. It does look like a really colourful one. It's going to come with three minifigures. Also features four different parts of the ride, namely a whale, a swan, a truck, and a boat. And this can actually be turned. There's a little rotary in the bottom, so you can actually get it to spin round, which is really cool. Looks like a super colourful little set, not a bad price point either, £22, $25. I think this is going to be pretty popular, I'm just surprised that it's coming in March, it seems slightly late in the year to me. Then we have Speed Champions, starting with 76920, the Ford Mustang Dark Horse. This does look like a really good one. Sadly, the price increase means that this is now £20.99 in the UK and £26.99 in the States. Unfortunately, it's a similar story with the same pricing for set 76921, the Audi S1 e-tron Quattro. And even more unfortunately, in France, etron means turd. So this one should really come with four chocolate cupcakes, as well if LEGO has a sense of humour. Speed Champions is also going to be getting this little Formula One car added in polybag form. This is in set number 30683, so that'll be a fun little one to get as well. And then 76922 being a double pack featuring the BMW M4 GT3 and BMW M Hybrid V8 with the price point of £45 and $45. This one also has two minifigs with some nice dual moulding on the legs, so will be good to get. Now it's time to switch galaxies and look at the Star Wars theme. First up we have set 75375, the midi scale Millennium Falcon. This looks really good to me. It's got a huge amount of detail for something so small and it isn't badly priced, I think, at £75 and $85. I expect people are going to be pre-ordering this as soon as possible. Likewise, we have set 75376, which is a midi scale version of the Tantive, and this will be priced in at £70 or $80, and also looks pretty impressive. We'll also be getting the much anticipated Invisible Hand with set 75377 and a funny little coloured tile for the cockpit. This is priced at £47 or $50. We'll also be getting set 75379, which is R2-D2, and it will be great to see this in person. Looks pretty good from the pictures and has a much more accessible price point than the last rendition of R2-D2 that we had, this one being £90 or $100. Lastly for Star Wars in March will be set 75387, the boarding of the Tantive 4, which has been talked about for ages now and is coming in a bit late, frankly. It's going to have the minifigure of fives, which, as you have probably heard a lot by now if you follow along with these things, has a pretty cool face but a terrible helmet, which spoils it. Price on this one is £50 or $55. Then rounding out the releases for March is the Technic theme, and we'll start with set 42178, which is the Surface Space Loader. This one does look pretty cool, I have to say. I think that will be really fun to play with. It's priced at £30 and $35. Then it's set 42179, which is a planet Earth and Moon in orbit. And I'm really disappointed with this one. It's such a good concept that, for me, falls way short. It's not in proportion. It just looks cheap to me, and yet it isn't at the price point of £70 and $75. Personally, I would have preferred to pay three or four times that much to get a bigger set that has the planets in as well and have things properly scaled. But maybe that's just me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. It's just not doing it for me personally, which is a shame as I really wanted to like this set. 
Next up, we have 42180, Mars Crew Exploration Rover, and this is a sizable set at 1600 pieces. It's $129.99 in the UK or $149.99 in the States, but it looks cooler than a frostbitten refrigerator, and I'd expect this one to be on every space collector's wish list. And this one actually threw me, I had thought that this was available in February because it did actually say that at one point on the LEGO website, but either that was a mistake or something's changed because set number 42169, our Technic McLaren, that is going to be coming now in March as well. This one being priced in at £47 or $50 in the States. After that, we have 42181, the heavy cargo spaceship, which is going to be $89.99 in the UK and $109.99 in the States. This one has lots of interesting functions and is also quite a big set, so it's going to be a great one for both play and display. And last of all is a little polybag 30682, the NASA Mars Rover Perseverance, which is going to be $4.99. That rounds up all of March's releases that we currently know of. Please comment below if any more are revealed and consider liking and subscribing. For now though, thank you very much for watching and look forward to seeing you on the next one.